Hawaii. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm your host as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from my home in the sky and from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Today, we will hear from a handsome young 19-year-old man as we journey with him as he's growing healthy despite COVID-19 and isolation. What we would like you to take away from today's discussion is on finding hope through adversities. But honestly, I don't even know that he looks at it that way in his life. He's just a young, positive man with a very positive smile on his face at all times. And that's the way I've grown to know him. Today, we are very honored to welcome 19-year-old farmer Jax Kama Aloha Aruda, the owner of newly formed Kama Aloha Tower Greens. Welcome, Jax. Hello. <laughs> Aloha. Yeah, I mean, so I know you're you're a little bit going to have fun with us today and you feel like, oh, you're so young, but we're going to have fun, okay? Because the main thing is we share your heart with everybody who's watching us. All right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. just uh, before we get started, can you just share a little bit about yourself and your health journey? You know, I know that you had a lot of um, health challenges and your family and you faced your, when you were born and you had a little, few health challenges, would you like to share a little bit about your humble beginnings when you were yeah, sure. <laughs> Um, My name is Jax Kama Aloha Aruda. I am 19. Um, I graduated last year in 2019. And I have this, uh, this gene where it's called KCM1A, but it, there's no real name for it because there's only three other people in the world that have it but yeah um call. i know it's also it, called congenital fiber type one myopathy is that yeah. what it was yeah right? but you weren't diagnosed with that right off the bat because i think you were little and they were trying to find something was different about you is that no, correct? yeah at the, at the age of like two mm -hmm. or five they um my parents took me to the hospital and they said uh, he's not walking yet but he he um rolls but he points his body and he rolls towards the object that i wanted so that's basically what happened and then i got older and i started crawling on my knees wow wow and i know your parents went through a lot of medevacs from because you're from hilo they had to get you over to Queens Hospital or different, oh, Shriners and the different hospitals to just try and diagnose what the heck was going on with our cute little baby, right? Mm -hmm. And you just left everybody baffled with what's going on with Jax. So let's go fast forward, all right? So, you know, I know that you are a cute baby because you're a handsome young man, so you got to be cute when you're little, but you were also named MDA's ambassador, but not just for one year. I think you held the title for three years. So just tell us a little bit, Jax, what were some of your responsibilities as a, a ambassador for MDA? And I know we have a cute picture of you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my responsibility for being the ambassador of MDA was a donation. So I would go to um, KTA and what well, was mainly KTA and we would set up a table and I would ask for donations for um, summer camp. Right. Every year at summer where all the kids that are in wheelchairs that have muscular disease, mm -hmm. they go and they have fun at camp because that's the only time they can get out. Right, and you pretty much, um, I think parents were not invited, but they could come drop you off and pick you up because I remember you all invited me and I met you at Camp Erdman and yeah. I was watching you and you had so much fun. I mean, what wheelchair? What special needs? I mean, you were like just one young kid just having a good old time with all the other kids, right? Yep. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, so tell me, did you miss your mom and dad? Um, first time I went to camp, I did. But after that, is, I, didn't miss, <laughs> I didn't miss them. Yeah, well, yeah, you were growing up. And that's what the camp is all about, for you not to think about home and other things that you experience day to day and to remove you from that environment and to just have a great time with your other peers, letting you know that you're not alone and yeah. you're, you're special, but all the group, all the kids there are special. 
And so just giving you all the love and aloha. I think that's basically what the camp is all about. So now I know that you had many health challenges from having your stomach pumped up. I mean, it was lodged into your chest. So yeah. you needed a feeding tube when you were a baby because you weren't eating well because you had a lot of different health, um, pains and issues. And then I know your lower limbs were not able to support you. So yeah. now that you're 19 years old, tell us now, how do you get around these days? Oh, uh, I crawl on my knees around around the house. And then, and then um, once in a while, I try and stand up and I walk to just uh, exercise my legs. And I have a wheelchair that where when I go out, I use my wheelchair most yeah. of the time. Right. Well, that's amazing. I mean, I have a friend, he has no arms and no legs, and I would love to introduce you to him when he comes to the Big Island. And uh, I for sure will, because he's remarkable just like you are. And I know that you're going to be mentoring so many people watching this show by letting them know that all things are possible. So besides being the MDA ambassador for a few years in a row, another very respectable accomplishment that you achieve is reaching the highest level of scouting. Yeah. And that in itself is, I mean, is a, a big deal. So how did you do that, Jax? How did I do that? Um, yeah. it, was a, it was a journey for me because uh, some of the, the requirements, I couldn't, I couldn't do it because it was the like swimming and stuff. But right. mo most of it, like before people, people would say, that you know it might be hard for me but in my head I'm telling myself yeah you might think that but to me it's a it's a challenge and I want to take that challenge so, amen I mean that's what you're gonna what's gonna get you over that hill or that that difficulty is just knowing that you can right and that's the positive thinking within you and I admire that so much and I know you have such a great brain because you have this special gift I remember once when I visited you like five or six years ago, you were taking apart a laptop computer. I'm like, what are you doing there? And um, right, you are really mechanically in tune that you can take anything apart and put it back together. Is that correct? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I can't do that. So you see, you all, we all have different gifts that we have to just make sure we uh, material uh, capitalize on, I should say. So now you got to be in an Eagle Scout. I know you didn't get there alone. So is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, I give a shout out to my scout master, Derek mm -hmm. Izumo, because he helped me through the the um the middle and ending. So mm -hmm. and then um my mentor, Sammy Simpaga. Mm -hmm. And my my parents too, because they've been through they've been through it with me through all of it. Right. I mean, that's the strength to what you have. Your ohana behind you is solid. Your brothers, your sister, and your parents are just 100%. That's where you get your strength and your confidence is because they're right there just, you know, waiting. And then, and, but you know what? You never fail. You just keep going. And that's yeah. the positive attitude that has you up and going wherever you want to go. And I know you're going to many places far and up and beyond. So now, I know that you never miss a party as well. You're like a party kid, right? <laughs> so I, we have a picture of you here and you're all decked out, okay? What's the occasion for that? Oh, that was senior prom. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have a great time? Yeah, um, what you call? So that night, we just bought an orange Silverado <laughs> but the day before. So I pulled up to prom in an orange suit and I hopped out oh. in Silverado. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, is that your favorite color? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's why the orange suit. I mean, you look spiffy, man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I guess I bet you were the talk of the prom that night. Yeah. <laughs> right? that, that looks so much fun. I wish I was there. That's the one time I wish I was a younger person so I could have been there and watched you at yeah. that very enjoyable occasion. Okay. So, now you're going into, um, you're a senior, and I know you have a senior project. So tell us about what you did for your senior project. Okay, for my senior project, I built a eight by 12 um, tiny home, and it's on a trailer. Because wow. My, wow. Brother, 
my brother helped me with the trailer. And then that's my oldest, my brother Max. And then my little brother Rex helped me with the, like putting on the roof and stuff because he can't get up and do all that. Right. Yeah. Wow. So he, you have the brains and the ability and he has the height. <laughs> Just like yeah. my, sister. my sister is shorter than me, but she's really smart. And I'm tall and I'm not as smart as her. So we make a good team, <laughs> right? So, you know, this tiny house on, on a trailer, what a beautiful concept that is, Jax, because that tiny house is sufficient for what uh, many, many people just need. That's all yeah. basically we need is that tiny house. And you're so cutting edge that you are able to put that together and have it transportable. And, and I, under, I also understand that you sold it. Yeah, I did. Right? Oh. And you made some capital. And we're going to talk about where that capital went for um, the next couple slides down. We're going to talk yeah. about that capital, okay? So okay. that's great. And then now the greatest feat of high school is graduation day. Okay, can uh, you just share a little bit about your graduation day with us? Well, graduation was a, a, a day to remember because, um, what you call them? I stayed an extra year back in high school and um, because <laughs> cause I can, because I'm in a wheelchair, <laughs> get a little bit more smarter. Yeah. yeah. Um, that night was the most funnest night of all because just knowing that you graduated from high school. Right. And you did it. You did it. Yeah. Another mountain that you climbed. And how? How amazing is that for you, Jax? All the different hills and mountains that you're climbing, it's preparing you for even greater mountains and hills. You know that. Yeah. Okay, those are the easy bumps. Now we're going to go for the big yep. challenge, right? Called life, right? It's called life. So now after you graduated um, from high school and you, did you have, did you, were, were you able to find any kind of jobs at that point? Yeah, I found, I found a, a job and I worked at Hui Malama. Mm -hmm. It was a Hawaiian <laughs> Shoot, I haven't worked there in so long because of COVID-19. Right, kind of right. So but, is it because of COVID-19 that you um, you ended that job? Yeah. Okay. Um, it, was, then, it was, it was literally like, bef because um, I was almost up at my, because um, I worked for Alulike. Mm -hmm. So I had a three month period. Right. So, um. What you call them? They said that I cannot finish my last week because of COVID-19. Oh, my gosh. So COVID-19 comes along. And so now you're stuck at home. And are you asking your mom, hey, mom, I really want to go to work. I need to make money. I want to get out and do something productive. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. And then was it difficult to find something to, to uh, someone to employ you at that time? Yeah, it was kind of hard because a lot of people were, you know, looking okay. for jobs too so right but you know um i think that's where um we started talking about this project we're going to talk about next but um your mom says to me oh Jax is bummed out he can't find can't find a job because of covid i said duh i said seem like a few thousand maybe a hundred thousand people right now that can't find a, a job or lost their job because of isolation and covid so i said you know what you got some of those garden things out in the front of your yard. Go ask the family if they want to do this as a business and let Jax take this and run with it. And so I want you to share with us um, out of this in, uh, negative situation, the isolation, yeah. there was something very positive that came out of COVID and that's going to spark a new chapter in your life. So I want you to share that, that ray of sunshine in your life right now. Yeah. So um, one Monday night, we have family home evening. And Max, guys, Max and his family was over and we were talking. And then my mom was talking to you. And she said, um, and then you guys were talking about the tower gardens in the, on the side and in the back. And then my mom told Max. And then Max was like, oh, yeah, that would be a really good business right now because there's a lot of, you know, people that want vegetables mm -hmm. to eat, to eat good more qualities food. of vegetables yeah right 
And so this is the night it was pretty much birth, the idea. And that was probably, I want, I want to say, six or seven weeks ago. So yeah. it wasn't that long ago. It's not even two months ago. This was about seven weeks ago, not just making seven weeks, I would I'd say. And, you know, so the photo that came up earlier, that's the picture of your support team, your family, your ohana. Mm -hmm. And um, they just love you so much, Jax. And I know you love your family tremendously. And that's why this all worked out so well. Um, it was put to the family to say, hey, this might be a good idea for Jax. And let's see if he wants to run with it. And you said, yes. Yeah. And that's basically what you needed to do. Because if you said, nah, ma, nah, I'm going to wait for something better, right? But you said, okay, and your brothers all agreed that this may be the right thing for you to take and run with. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's and correct. again, I got to remind people that this just transpired about seven weeks ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So now in the next slide we have coming up. So the decision to start up, start up a farm with you and your family is what happens next. So tell us a little bit about this picture, Jax. So this picture is where um, we're flashing, we're making the ground flat so we can pour a piece of um, concrete so we can make a concrete slab so we can put our tar gardens on top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So building the first step to doing a solid business is building a great foundation. Right. Yeah. And so the whole family chipped in and um, and this, this foundation, the, the concrete slab was poured. Now, um, now you can talk about, you know, that house, that tiny house that you sold? There was some income that you all made from that. Is that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so you all decided that, hey, why don't we invest in this farm by using some of that money? Right? Yeah. And then I also understand, and people might have different opinions about this, but I know your mom and dad got some money in the mail. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And were they, was it the stimulus checks? Yep. Okay. The stimulus. And, yeah. And so most people, you know, some people might think, hey, the government gave that money to your family so you can survive and eat food today. But what they did as a Ohana, as a team around you, you all decided that, you know what, we'll eat less and we'll have less for, for the next month because we have a little, but I know that you all invested that money to pay yeah. for that slab. All right. Yeah. And it was just about enough. So we want to say thank you to um, the stimulus checks from the government. So we yeah. mahalo them. And then that your, your ohana put it to good use by yeah. building the best foundation for that amazing farm. And then what, did, what is your farm called, Jax? My farm is called Kama Aloha Tower Greens. Right. And what does Kama Aloha mean? Child of love. Right. And so how amazing were you when you were born, your parents gave you Kama Aloha, which is child of love. And you truly are a child of love. And it's going to continue to grow as you grow. And um, I'm just so excited about this beginning with all the greatness that you shall bring to his kingdom by providing the food that our body needs. And I understand that you guys have a, a, an issue in Hilo or on that side of your island, on the big island. What would that little brown thing call, be called? Oh, the slugs. Yes. Yeah. Right? So that was a big issue. And that's why you guys invested so much to make the best foundation. So that, of course, you on your wheelchair can buzz around. That's like your little playground. And yeah. if you wanted to, you could also crawl. Right? Because yeah. You could be on your knees. And it wouldn't hurt your knees because you have a beautiful slab there. And also... I think we made that beautiful staff so that you could see if there were any slugs yeah. that wanted to touch your plants and you would just pick them up and say, put them in a bucket of salt water and say, bye-bye. Is that, that right? <laughs> right? Because there are so many slugs and the rat lung worm. And that's why the big push for you all to do the farm there. And I know that um, when you did develop your first harvest, what was some of your goals with that first harvest that you guys are creating? My goal was to um, share, like feed our family mm -hmm. and then start spreading the word and um, get our friends and family to see our vegetables. And right. so we can have it later. Yeah, and to reap the harvest and the benefits of the harvest that you all started. And so that's what it's all about. You're building community because I know that 
Uh, one time I was on the phone with you and then some people came knocking on the door and say, hey, what is that growing in your front yard? Right? Yeah. And then what did they do? What, what happened? Um, they bought. <laughs> they wanted they bought. to buy your green vegetables and you're like, oh my gosh, no, Auntie, just take it, just take it. And they were like, no, you need to get some money back to pay for all those expenses. And that's yeah. called your business, right? Yeah. Right. So you're a smart businessman and uh, yeah, we can give away some. But, you know, you need to really start thinking business minded because this is Kama Aloha Tower Greens and it is a yeah. business. And I understand that you went to a few different places. And um, what was the response to the, the when you shared with them that, hey, I'm starting a tower, I mean, a farm. What were their responses, Jax? Oh, uh, they said they wanted to start buying some vegetables from, from me. <laughs> See how amazing that is, right? You didn't even really... I mean, you're just doing the first crop to share with the neighbors and yet they can realize the goodness of the quality. And what were some, did, did they, did you hear some of the comments that came back about the lettuce that you all grew? Oh yeah, they said, they said, this is like, this is better than what they were getting before. Right, well, first of all, they just took it out of the tower. So it's pretty much live living food. Yeah. And did they say it was a little bit sweeter and a bit a bit better tasting than most? Yeah, they said it's a little bit more crunchy and more sweet. Yeah. yeah. So that's amazing, Jax. You're 19 years old. You're starting a farm, a first of its kind on your side of the island, producing. Um, I wonder, I know that you mentioned the number to me. You're producing like just under 600 heads of produce, of heads of lettuce. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a lot of lettuce that you're going to be pr producing. And, um, a lot of friends that are going to get healthier because of you and your family's endeavors. So I'm really excited. And I know um, at this point, a lot of the viewers are wondering, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? So I want to share with them. I, I took a little video you, you gave me um, with your lettuce. And let's watch the goodness of your lettuce coming out of your tower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. It. It's a short clip. So that's you harvesting. Wow. Oh, so handsome. And the lettuce looks so ono, oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So is it hard to do this, um, Jax, to grow no, on the tower gardens? It's super easy. <laughs> yeah. And is it fun? Yeah, it's it's way it's super fun. It's like it's better than um working out in a real garden. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you that. So if Auntie said, hey, you know what? There's an empty lot over there. Get plenty of weeds and all kinds of rocks and stuff. Can you go clean it up? And you know what? You can have it. You can grow vegetables over there. Would you be as excited? Oh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> right? And yeah. plus, I mean, what the heck? It's like right in your front yard. So yeah. you can even work in your pajamas and uh, or work without shirt, right? Because you don't have to go very far. You don't have traffic. Yeah right? Everything is very convenient. And so now the idea is you have people that are wanting to eat and buy your lettuce. And so now you just have to fine tune a little bit of the, um, just the logistics, the delivery, yeah. the harvest times and all of that. So, and I just want to keep reminding everybody that lettuce that you just saw seven weeks ago, it was just the front yard with grass and weeds, right? No. Right. And then you're, as a kid, I know you used to play in that yard probably. And now from being your playground, now it's your work site. Yeah. Right. How exciting is this? And, you know, we just want to encourage others that it's all possible. Everything is possible if you believe and you have the right, right work ethics, which Jax has. I mean, he made it to Eagle Scout. He was, of course, the ambassador for MDA, which, you know, he and with his family had to go out to KTA, you said, and different markets and sit there and promote MDA and fundraise for them. And I understand with that cute smile of yours, you guys are probably one of the top fundraisers. Nope. <laughs> yeah. And that's why they probably asked you to come back because you guys were so successful. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And so do you still do any work with MDA? Um, not. Not too much? Yeah, they closed their office, so not too much. Lately. Oh. Yeah. So what about all the other kids um, in Hilo that need that, that service? They don't have it? They, they close the office, but they, they work at home now. So oh, 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 because of COVID? No, they closed it down, like, because, um, yeah, they just closed it down because of uh, wow. 
wow. There's some stuff that went on, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, I bet people are wondering, how do we get in touch with Jax? And how, where do we get more information? And I know people may want to buy some vegetables or come visit you and talk story. But, you know, public, neighbors, this is a working farm. It's not for you to just go help yourself, okay? And I have to warn and uh, uh, explain that to people because it's so amazing. They all want to just come in and take and take, right? Of course, they're going to pay, but you also, this is your business. It's no different than somebody walking into your store and picking up all your candy bars and potato chips and taking it home, right? Yeah, this is your business. So, yeah. well, I just want to caution people that be aware and very um, yeah, sensitive to the fact that this is Jax's livelihood. It, it is his business and he welcomes you and any questions. And that's why we put up his business card for you to call him or email him. And uh, any questions, Jax, if you need help with that, uh, we have a whole panel of people that can assist you with any of those questions. So... I'm just excited for you, Jax, and this is just the beginning. It will take some hard work in that sun and rain, and I know you addressed some of that with that beautiful tarp covering that you have over your farm, but yep. uh, just be prepared. Hard work is the best best thing for you, all right? Yep. <laughs> and always remember, Jax, so you know, you have to remember success. Success to me is not just being at the right place at the right time, which you were. You were at the right place at the right time. But the best thing about success is being at the right place at the right time and you taking action. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. if you didn't take action, it still would be a front yard with grass and weeds. Yeah. But now we have production and a future for you. So right now, I just want to say mahalo, Jax, for being such a bright light in a darkness, a time of darkness. And I just tell you, you have truly inspired me and the rest of our viewers to just all start doing greater things because we know all things are possible through Christ who strengthens us. So mahalo, Jax, and keep on growing. Aloha. Mahalo, Auntie Wendy. <laughs> mahalo.